Welcome to another episode of Ankle Saw and our preview of the 2023 AFL Grand Final our penultimate show of the 2023 season. While you're watching this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Also comment down below. As we, as always, we would love to hear your thoughts on our thoughts. And gentlemen, we're here, grand final week. Oh, it's been a long Welcome. season. It's been a long season. Started way back on Good Australia season. Day. I, I could have told you two months ago who was going to be of in the Of course you could have. Of course you did. Oh, dear. Well, what am I going to say? It's Brisbane it's Collingwood versus Brisbane, two thirty on Saturday. No Gabba, no, no Brisbane. Brisbane. I say you disagree. Okay, I say very much so. No mixed day, no Collingwood. Yeah, <laughs> can't kick really? a score. <laughs> you um, think for me? Okay, okay. Who, who, who's going to go? I'm going to go here. Okay. Oh. No, no, you know, no, you, no, 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 you go. No, no. What I was going to say is Collingwood at the G mm. grow another leg one. Crowd too. I know it's different on grand final day because it's more MCC members going good goal and clapping. It's not the same. But what I'm saying is Dacos, Dacos, that on ball brigade, right? He's not liking Dacoy. it. Oh, I didn't say Dacoy. Dacoy, Dacoy sorry. Yep. Dacoy. Um, well, they're Dacoy. the main two, what I'm saying. And then obviously everyone Pim, around, around Pim, Mitchell. them. Yeah, yeah, Mitchell. Yeah, Mitchell. Yeah, Mitchell. I think they'll be too good on the G, on the G for Brisbane. I, I honestly think Collingwood will win this comfortably. Honestly. Comfortably? Yeah. Jeez, I reckon, I reckon Brisbane won't get within five goals. So it'll be five goals to ten? None. <sighs> it'll be, I'll be turning off after. It'll be 14 goals back. to nine. Mm. Collingwood kick 14 goals. Okay. okay. Um, I can't see it. I'm worried about Carlton, uh, Collingwood's forward line. I'm worried. Mm. Without McStay, like he was huge. That, that's a night. bit of a blow. Now, but you know what the problem yeah. is? I tell you, yeah, I oh, know that's a fair point. Mm. But you know what is? Carlton's four lines that predictable. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you know that Charlie Woods. Carlton. Carlton's. I'm saying Carlton's was predictable in the, in the yeah, pre yeah, yeah, yeah. So they knew exactly what they're going to do. Collingwood's Collingwood a little not. less. You know what I mean? You go to my check, or you go to Elliot, or do you, you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. no threat. Oh, I'm I'm over Elliot. He's just not good. He doesn't Jeez. produce. Well, he's, he, he's just not dangerous, he's, honestly. Let's be honest. He's passed it pretty he has, quickly. He has one game every now and again. So does everyone. Yeah, but it could be, be this week. It could oh, be, but if you're relying on that, oh, let's Aside really... from Dugowie, I think it's uh, well, side bottom and Quayna are the, are the massive keys. Uh, to see, he's, he's, I, he's, I reckon Dugowie and Nick Dacos. It's, I, yeah, I, reckon, I agree. I no, no, he, aside, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Aside from those two. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You forgot yeah. about my boy. Nah, he's got zero influence. Who's your boy? Darcy. Darcy Moore. What, set oh. back? Yeah, he does have an influence. Of course he has an influence, mate. Oh. He's going to go to Hipwood or he's going to go to uh, one of the, uh, yeah. Danaher. Yeah, of course he will. Mate, he'll just, mate, what are you saying? Yeah, he's going to struggle against those two. They're very tall players. He likes the oh, intercept. That's his job. It is, but he's going to struggle. Mate, he's one of the he's best at it. Oh. So Collingwood have got a problem. Well, they've got a problem, but they've got a task ahead of them with, um, you know, McCarthy, Cameron. Rainer going forward. Yeah, more potent in their forward line. Rainer's explosive. He, he's the he's, last two he's a match winner, You're sticking to your Brisbane winning it, aren't I'm you? Si I've been on Brisbane for as long as you've been Collingwood, I reckon. Well, mm. no, you were Collingwood early. I was Collingwood me. early, mate. I, I just think it's about. It's not about the big blokes. No, I no, really no. You're probably, it's about, you're, you're probably right. So you think Brisbane on the G? I'm talking about the yeah, G. That's fine. Can match Collingwood's spread. Absolutely. Collingwood's, you know, they spread yeah, quickly on the G. They, they have just, to. Well, you saw what GWS they kids are have to. Do, do you think Brisbane can or not? Uh, yeah, like they can. Having said that, I think they can exploit them on the scoreboard. Ooh, all right. Having yeah. said that, if Lockie Neal gets Pretty injured obvious, during the game, if <laughs> oh yeah, Neal if he shot during the game, they're gone. The game's over. It's shot. Well, I hope not. I hope not too. For the sake of the game. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. I think. Look, I don't know. I, and you know they're going to hit him hard. You know they're going to hit him hard. Well, they should. Your Maynards or one of those guys are going to go, go, go yeah, crisp a, one yeah, of them. It's all part of it, right? Well, right. crisp and Maynard, look, these four are good hard inside. Nah, they've team. got a good side, Collingwood, mate. They have got a good side. So I, 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 agree side with you about, I agree with you about kicking goals could be a problem. I agree with that. Yeah, huge problem. I don't know if it's a huge problem, but Brisbane away from home, I don't. I, this is the whole point here. I don't trust them, mate. We've the got the two best sides. So hang on, hang on, hang on a second. So Brisbane won. Can I just say something? Brisbane won thirteen games on the Gabba. How many games did they win for the year? Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eight, I think they won. Yeah, eighteen. Well, enough to win eighteen. You're talking about five away, including finals. Yeah. Well, they've well, they won thirteen, including finals. Including finals. So they won the five. Gabba. Okay. Not bad. Five. So, but who they beat? They in, beat in half. Half. You know yeah, what I, mean? I know what you're getting at. No, but that was a long time ago too. I yeah, think they're, they're playing pretty good. Sides, like. you, you, you're putting a lot okay. of emphasis on, on the MCG factor. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Like, 
Yeah, at all. you don't. You don't. It's think a different it's a, game on Grand Final, final day. day. It's different. It's different. It's different. I think. I think. Okay. I think too. I think Collingwood will, will go into that game just as they would last week, the week before. I'm just saying Are the way saying, the preparation I'm talking about. Yeah. It's a different preparation for Brisbane. For some reason, when they've come to Melbourne on the G, the preparation doesn't work for them. I don't know. But, but you're talking about. I'm just pre- saying. I'm going to go by what I've seen this year. Do yeah. you think that's going to, Grand Final Day is going to get them because it's at the G? No, no. I look, you think they're going to go. Oh, I yeah. just think Collingwood's a lot more, I know this sounds stupid, more comfortable. I know it sounds nah, silly, comfortable. Right, so if, you, if they're playing on a neutral venue mm. with the form taken into account and how they've got there, who, who would you think? Oh, maybe Brisbane, to I be honest, Brisbane. There's a little bit Brisbane, of form yeah. going Brisbane's way. Mm. Yeah. No doubt. Is it the back of Collingwood, their two finals weren't it's as comprehensive? Goals, yeah. As no, they weren't comprehensive, I agree. No, but the more I think about the G, they're going to look at it and go, geez, we have to be better than last week because I would like you to beat JWS. Every week. They play exactly. So, games but what I'm saying is they would like you to beat JWS, and they know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. He's a smart man there, Coach McRae. Yep. So he's going to look at that and go, boys, we can't go into that and, and with that same, what's, well, I don't know about setup or attitude or whatever yeah. it is. Because they left. if Dugowie doesn't play that game or Dugowie doesn't play an absolute blinder, they lose. So you saying Dugowie needs to play a blinder to win? I'm saying that because you were impressed with GWS's spread. They were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being honest. can't do that? I think what? GWS is better at doing that. Really? I do. Mm. But they don't I'm not saying they're a better side. They're probably quicker moving. That's the what ball. I mean. That's but what I'm saying. They're not as well equipped up forward. Uh, no, as no, as no, 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 no. Yeah. Brisbane's forward line is dangerous. I'm just think no if, if it's you know, if it opens up like it did for yeah. Brisbane after that 20 yeah. minute yeah. madness. Yeah, a bit of strife. Collingwood might not be able to defend that. Yeah. They will for a little bit because they're good defensively. They're good. Oh yeah, well, of course they're good. But I, I just think I just think if you're going to allow 60 inside 50s. All right. Oh, I'm what gonna, was it? I'm going to ask you this. So against Carlton, it was 62 to 54. Are you talking about Brisbane? Yeah, Brisbane. If if, if Colin is going to allow 60, like absorb like Carlton do, you're going to kick a score to win. Don't like, forget Melbourne got 62 and had 30 more inside 50s than Collingwood. But it doesn't work like that. You know that. Yeah, I know. But Melbourne, again, nah, are Melbourne we... as equipped as Brisbane to score? No. So nah. Brisbane at some yeah, point is going to get their look in. They'll get their look in, yeah. and they score quickly, and they score heavily. Okay, I'll. I'll oh, um, they didn't because I'll ask you. This, I'll, Bartha, I'll ask you this question. I don't know if you brought it up, then you might have said something else. But if they start, if they give Bri- Collingwood four or five goal lead, start Brisbane. No, nah. let oh. me tell you right now, ah, it'll be tough. it's over. Thank you. It's over. Five Collingwood, five Collingwood are not going to Colling- brain. F- it's not a brain fade, but Collingwood are more mature mentally. Yeah, than Carl- they'll be able to shut that game down because oh, they do no, have methods. And remember, they're not the Gabba. Well, and yeah. that helps. Come on. Yeah, it I know does. It does. It I, does. To, I can't not take it into consideration. You're saying don't take no, it into consideration. I'm not, but it, for me, it's a little bit less. So if that grand final's at the Gabba, let's just, for argument's sake, you're going to get Brisbane easy. So <laughs> probably, I'll probably go, yeah, Brisbane will beat him at the Gabba. Mm. Just natural thing. I just I just can't yeah. see Collingwood shutting down Brisbane's forward line. Like, they've got six That's options the there. If they had two or three, I'll go, yeah, Collingwood would probably win. And make no mistake, Collingwood could win, and I wouldn't be shocked if they won. No, nah, it's not. It's tighter than it's, it's we're very, It's going to be well, very tight. I reckon Collingwood four or five goals, to be honest. Wow. That's that. So you're, it goes against the grain of how Collingwood will win yeah. their games. I know. Yeah. But I, just I reckon, know they whacked us in the last round of the year. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Yes, but I just – the reason I say this is because I reckon they've looked at it. Of course, they've watched the back and the coaches and no, they're not idiots, and gone, we've been very lucky here. Mm. We need to lift the ante, and I think this week – is the week they're just going to lift the ante. Well, they have to. Well, yeah. right. So I, I just think they'll have too much for Brisbane on grand final day. Okay. At the G, mate. Fair enough. So you're tipping the pies? Four goals. I won't go five, but bunch. Four goals. I'm liking Brisbane in a very similar battle to last Yesterday. night. Mm. Yeah, where Brisbane will probably kick about 80, 85, and they can restrict Collingwood to 65 because – I think that's Collingwood. Eighty-five points they win Brisbane. It's it's yeah they win by twenty points. I, so get ready for a low scoring grand final. Oh, I think it'll be low scoring grand final. I think Brisbane will do enough in okay. that. Oh, it's just mm. you know I, I, I reckon the Goey Dacos and the the Goey Dacai, um, the back line will stand up. I think they'll be too good for them. But how are they going to kick goals? That that that's it. You've convinced me on back yeah, line. Yeah, you have convinced me on that. Midfield, I, but I agree. How are they going to kick goals? That's the only thing that worries me. That's a fair question. I'm, I'm struggling to find. But you know what? The blessing thirteen is, goals. But my check's going okay. I was say, he's going okay. Yeah, but yeah. he's not a five. He's, he ain't kicking your five and grand final. He can. Though. He can. He's capable. He is Anyone capable. Can, but. But he's not going to. He just won't. So you, won't, uh, you can't kick a goal a quarter? Nah. Don't underestimate Elliot. I'm telling you now. 
I well, he have. has to. Yeah, as he I has say. to. But don't and the goalie and the midfield's got to get on the ball. I think the goalie. That's what Brisbane has think, to do to stop beating, to try and beat Collingwood. You've got to keep the midfielders yeah. off the ball. And I think the goalie will play a little yeah, bit more of a mid, forward role. Yeah, forward. Yeah. But what I'm saying is so the goalie scores, the ball, side bottom plays sort of more defensive wing, half, so he yeah. doesn't. Score, but that's you know, you got Quayner gives him good run off out of there, yeah, from that back, yeah. Line. The run's no problem. And I, I, I just think I don't know, I, I know what you're saying about Brisbane, and I'm not discounting it, but I watched him when I watched him yesterday. You're right, if Carl were more mature and a bit smarter, they would have beaten Brisbane yesterday. So for me, if Carl was good enough to beat Brisbane at the Gabba, Colin was way too them. good for Brisbane on grand final day, and that but, doesn't work like that. But Brisbane's quite mature, just, they've played the last four preliminary finals, like it's pretty, that's yeah, yeah. yeah you don't no, I'm not talking like, about that, I'm talking about like. If Carlton were more mature, I'm talking about, they would have beaten Brisbane yesterday. But but what I like Smarter. about what I yeah. like about Brisbane, they've got Zorko and Dunkley and yeah. Lockie Neal. They, they, they just no doubt they, they just calm them down because mm. at times. So I told you last week, Zorko's the smartest player, and smartest player in the AFL, the smartest. When he gets the ball, he doesn't miss. No, it's like he'll get it. He's clean. He'll get it and it's going there, and it will go there. Right? He just calms everyone down. And to compliment that, like Rainer's game, Rainer. Oh, you're big on. And I'm back half of the year. He's dangerous. He could kick five. He could kick five. You know, I used to think Rainer. (laughs) Get on that. It's raining, Rainer. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah. Well, the other good thing is for Brisbane. If you're looking at it for, it's going to be 26 degrees on Saturday. Yeah, that's got to help Brisbane. A slight bit, even if it's one percent. Yeah, that's got to help. Just playing in it. And Collingwood always play at night time. They, they do very rarely play during the game. They get drawn to play. Yeah, which That's is fine. True. 1998, so, so played might... 14 straight night games. I know, played during the day and played didn't, couldn't the day. handle it. First time yeah. in six, three months. So does that got beat. come to affect yeah. a little bit? Yeah, Potentially? it could. Like the, yeah. If it's, you know, um, hot hot days, like we don't play in summer. It could. We play in winter, you know. Yeah. 26 is pretty hot. It's pretty hot. In Brisbane, that's nothing for them. That's every day, right? Quainer's got, Quainer is got Quainer. I'm not that much. No. So, hang on. No, Quainer is good. He's, he's got come he's got. good. He's got what he's got. <laughs> Kadan Coleman is no Quainer. He no, was not even close. fantastic. But how clean yeah. is he? Mm. He was classy yesterday. He's their yesterday. rebound too. He's... But you can't allow him to be that clean. You, you shouldn't. There's no pressure on him. Yeah, nah, there exactly. wasn't. You've got to there try wasn't. and keep That's a good the call. ball out of good players' hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. coming off half back. Like, seriously, if you can stop him. If you're Collingwood and you can stop Kadeen Coleman, you're halfway there, I reckon. Well, that's what I mean. He's the most underrated. Haven't mate, said that. He's doing anybody lights because Carlton were letting him. So yeah. was so was uh, the Irishman. Do you think McKenna was just playing with him? He it, had six it, consecutive like. He's a star. Inside he's, 50s. He's a star. It was like, we anyone forgot- going to stop kicking at this point? Yeah. Do you see the way he just finds targets? Yeah, he doesn't but- miss either. The, where he finds him is what is, yeah, is dangerous. Dangerous. He spots, finds him yeah. in dangerous spots. Yeah, you know what? Because he yeah. looks, he does those look away kicks, those yeah. chips. And yeah. I reckon he had a say in in most in of the a go- lot yeah. of those goals, especially in the second, third quarter. He was in that middle part of that crucial. game. He was he did, absolutely. absolutely so he's a so. he's a great get. Yeah. Do you reckon they bring John Noble in for just for a bit of speed? Who to make way for? Yeah. Oh well, McStay's out. Oh, well, so just yeah. straight straight swap. Maybe who else? Who it's else? not shape and size. What about is that Johnson injured? He just can't get a game. No, he won't. He won't play. I think it's. Between um, Noble and Billy Frampton, personally, I bring in Noble. I bring in Noble for a bit oh, of run. I would as well to help yeah. with a bit of speed. Bit of speed because you get ball a, carry. Like remember, bring in they're Noble. small defend uh, forwards. The Brisbane ones. Well, it gives you an extra small yeah. defender for them. And yeah, they've got I four of them. So. I agree. And he was a bit unlucky to get dropped. He's a tenacious little player. So you do you reckon you reckon I'm harsh on four goals, Collingwood? It's no Collingwood can win by four goals. Okay, oh, I got they can. Mm. What do you think they'll kick Collingwood? Like if you reckon, if you reckon they win fourteen four, goals, fourteen goals, they kick a ninety. Yeah, fourteen six ninety. That's good. against the grain for Collingwood, but well, I can't see that. And I think I, I think they'll restrict them to nine twelve sixty six. Yeah, that's that's a, that's that's Brisbane getting completely shut out. S- yeah, smashed. Yeah. No, twenty one shots, but I'll, they just might kick the. They, they'll miss. If a, Collingwood wins, they're still kicking eighty. Yeah, so I, I think it's about it. Oh, that's, yeah, you're that's saying as high 90. As, yeah, 90. They, they won't get there. It's a tight 80 to 70 game if I think Collingwood so. win. I think so. So you're right. You're happy with if what I was saying about Brisbane kicking 66 then? No, it's, nah, that's very low that's, for Brisbane. Geez, I mean, sorry, they kicked 79 in perfect weather. There was, yeah. Oh, well, they, they kicked one in the first quarter. They kicked 10 goals for they the rest of the game. They kicked 11 for the rest of the Yeah, well, yeah, yeah that's you know, right. No Gabba, no win. No McStay, no I reckon Charlie Cameron's going to. Norm Smith. This game. Oh, okay. I reckon Rainer, Norm Smith. I think ah, you're right. Ah, you got me. Because he'll go into the midfield and go yeah. forward. I think he's potentially. I like Rainer. Well, for Brisbane, Rainer. Norm Smith. For Collingwood, 
Dagoe. He's very Dugowie hard to stop. slash Daikai, one of them. Yeah. Daikai, so three. Mm. Three you're choosing. Okay. I'm, I'm going Brisbane by nine points. I'm going Brisbane by 15. Okay, okay and I said Collingwood, 20, Smith medalist. Collingwood 24. You have to pick one. One. Yeah. yeah. One from each side. Nick Dacos. Yep. And he's right because he was disgusting yesterday, Charlie Cameron. He could tear it apart. He, he could. could. I reckon I reckon Dugowie and <laughs> your boy, <laughs> Rayner. <laughs> well, I'm going to go left field if Collingwood win because yeah. the way they're going to win is they've got to rebound it out of Brisbane's forward line. Isaac Quainer. So I'm going Isaac Quainer. Isaac! Yes. Yeah, that's not bad. Finally. Yeah. Go Isaac You're Quainer on the Isaac Quainer He's impressed me since we've had the argument and you, you put some I sense into me. Told you, mate. Yeah, that's fair. Good football. So, yep. Mm. We'll go close. We'll talk about these margins and we'll go into depth in our next episode. Absolutely. I'm yeah, looking for forward sure. to that. Yeah, that'll be interesting. And, gentlemen, who wins the Brownlow? Well, Let's uh, have your top three. Uh, top three. Oh, I would have said Dacos maybe hasn't played, maybe missed the game. Does he get over Ren? Maybe. You're the Brownlow so, expert. So, yeah, in the room. so Petrarca, Petrarca, Bonton Pally, probably the two. And I, no one's talked about Butters, but he's. You're really onto Butters, aren't you? He's been fantastic. Mm. He's very good on the spread. <laughs> that is true. So who wins it? You said top three. Who wins? <sighs> in order. Zach Butters can't win it. I think Zach I Butters think. will come third. Yeah. Really? And mm. I think it'll be. Okay, so Butters third, Nick Dacos second. And probably oh, Petrarca Bontempelli. I can't split. Probably Bontempelli because the umpires Ooh. love him. No, because they love him. I don't. Don't think say him. that. What? Who do you think? Bontempelli. Bontempelli. I think Bont wins it. Petrarca second. Dacos third. I just think the two might overtake him. Yeah. Dacos will be in front halfway. I would assume. Well, oh, not halfway. Three quarters but, of the way. Think, until he gets injured, well, he probably might well, be. In, yeah. Will he have enough of a lead? Do you no, think? No. And who do you think? No. I think Bontempelli wins it. I think Dacos finishes second. He'll just accumulate enough votes. Yeah. The first 17 yeah. weeks before he got injured, he was best yeah, yeah, on ground yeah. in probably 12 Was Petrarca as good as what everyone says yeah, now? Yeah, Petrarca third, I was going to say. Out. Yeah, Petrarca had a good last six no, weeks. No one's even, no one's into butters. No, no, I'm, no, he's no, next I in line. I thought Rosie might have taken yeah, votes off him. Yeah, that's, that's where the problem is. Maybe. So with um with Clayton now, Oliver being out most of the season, Petra yeah. Petrarca could. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't I be surprised if he won it on based yep. on that, right? What about outsiders for fifth and sixth, like uh, like Zach Merritt, maybe? Uh, vote. I reckon Libba. I reckon Libba could be a Libba's smoky. up there. Yeah, but again, Bont takes votes off him. Oh, Kane Turner, maybe. Any, any Smokies that you can Kane Turner. Of? Kane Turner's just Smoke, Smokey. My Smokey is Libba. Oh, I'm not talking Smokey to win nah. it. I'm talking Smokey to finish like, top three. Yeah, oh, that's, goes, um, that's interesting. I'm going Brayshaw at Fremantle. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's a slow start, I thought, but... You're probably um, right. But um, but, just top yeah. five or top three, you know. I don't think we get a lot of votes, although Grime Moyes has been great. I don't think you could finish in the top five, though. Probably not. All right. Um, not. Your club, North Melbourne... Mm -hmm. Most votes. Uh, Who wins that? The Sheez. You reckon? Sheez. I don't think LDU Andrew can get enough. Most votes. Oh. Who do you think, North? <coughs> Larky. Okay, yeah. Sheez or Larky. I'll say Sheez. Fair enough. Yeah. Larky, yep. Yeah. Um, Carlton, that's a tough one. That's actually a tough one. I'll go out in the limb and I'll say Aaron, Adam Chera. Really? Yeah. He's had a good season before he got injured. He missed a lot of games. That might hurt him. I thought Nick yeah. Newman was good. Oh, this year, but I reckon um, Kerno might early. Maybe I know he didn't. Well, get, uh, Carlton weren't going okay. Does he get three votes for kicking ten goals? Probably both times. So that's yeah. So the six. Yeah, he didn't actually. You know, tear a lot of sides to win apart. The, to win your team's Brownlow. You're more up to it. It's about ten. 11, if you're not winning the Brownlow, yeah, ten, eleven, twelve votes. Yeah, we'll your get club you, one. Yeah, yeah. It depends on how many wins you have, of course. You know, yeah. that that always helps. Um. Yeah, I don't know, Charlie Kern. It's an interesting one. Like it's it's yeah, it could be anyone from Carl. It could be Sam Doherty. Had a great season. Had a good you know? season. Um Blake Akers. I reckon it's wide open. I, I just Cripps, he's probably gonna get the most votes, but well, I don't you're agree all with you're it. all over it, so if I put you on the spot now. Yeah, he's more over it than what we are. That, look, Adelaide. Adelaide Adelaide Crows, most vote winner. Oh, Jordan Go, Dawson. Up. Jordan Dawson. Comfortably. Yeah, Fair yeah, enough. I agree with that. Brisbane. Brisbane Lockie Neal. Yep. Yeah. These folks are free. We, we're just throwing it at you. We're not Go really. On. Keep going. So obviously, uh, Carl, or Carl, we've done Carl, Collingwood. Collingwood. Nick Dacos, easily. Essendon. Easily. Merritt. Merritt, Zach Merritt. Yeah. Yeah. Frio. Brayshaw. Brayshaw. Oh, I reckon Sarong, personally. Oh, Sarong. I reckon he's a sensational season. I reckon okay. Sarong. Geelong. I reckon uh, Jeremy Cameron. This guy's all over it. He's first five weeks. Already, haven't you? I haven't studied it. I'll just, watch, just watch 
intently. <laughs> His bloke falls asleep. <laughs> go on, oh, brown light. Night. Brown yeah. light. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, who texts us in the morning? Who won it? Oh, okay, GWS. GWS. I reckon Tom Green. Sensational. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Toby will get a few votes and so we'll, we'll see Kelly. how close he got with this. Yeah. So uh, the other G, Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Who cares? No, but Noah Anderson's probably get yep. their, their yeah, winner for them. Hawthorne? Hawthorne, John Newcomb. John Newcomb. Yeah, he's been... John Newcomb. No, Sicily's missed Sicily? too many. No, John Newcomb. No, John Newcomb. I man. think when he's played well, he's been outstanding, John Newcomb. Yep. So, John Newcomb, yeah. Melbourne? Petrarca, easily. North, we've done. Port Adelaide? Oh, I haven't said anything about North. Well... You did offer Harry Sheasel. Harry yeah, yeah, easily. No yeah, brainer. Yeah. Easily. Who's the next one after North? Who's after? Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide. I'm going Connor Rosie. Okay. And not by much. I, I reckon there'll be a vote. Rosie and Butters, you know? Okay. Yep. Richmond. Yeah. Richmond. Tim Taranto. Oh, no. no. Nah, Hopper. Tar- <laughs> Taranto, no, easy. I think so. Comfortable. Mar- Martin had a good second half no. of the season. Yeah, I thought Tar- Taranto got so much of the footy. Nah, Taranto. Yeah, but Jizzy, he turned it over a lot. Nah, he'll, he'll get know. the most votes, for, for, I think. All right, Taranto just, but Dustin Martin. St. Kilda, don't say who cares. No, I was going to say I was going to give you one. Okay. Hang in there, mate. We're nearly done. He's, he's <laughs> I reckon <laughs> everyone will just say, oh, You're it's- not a big fan of it. I'm not a big f- I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it. Oh, but he's, yeah. I love yeah. it. You know, um, he, everyone, he loves it. Everyone will say Jack Sinclair, but I reckon Callum Wilkie will get a few votes. Oh, fantastic. Probably. That's a good call. Yeah, probably. That's actually a good call. He was yeah. that good this year. I think he'll get it. And Royal Marshall might sneak in for a few, but. No, what about uh, uh, Sinclair? Yeah, that's what I said. Everyone will think Sinclair. Oh, sorry, Sinclair, yeah. but I don't think he'll. I think Sinclair because not much else around them. Is yeah, Secure but... to getting votes? Let's talk, like. Okay, defensively, we spoke in the last episode mm. how good they were, and then forwards they were the other way yeah, around. But Callum Wilkie was, I mean, it was down there Australian. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I reckon it was Wilkie. Down there I'm a with lot. him. He didn't turn over a lot. Nah, he's, yeah, he's done really his job. Good. I, I, I hope he does actually. Sydney, Errol Goulden. Yeah, yeah star, absolutely. Mate. Yep, absolutely. And one more. West Coast. We've got two more. Oh, two we've more. done Western Bulldogs. Yeah, Western Bulldogs. Ponte Pally. Yep. Yeah, and West Coast. West Coast. Tim Kelly comfortably. Yep. Oh. Let's see how close you get there to the pin. There you have it. There you have it. Let's see how we go. Let's see how close you get to the pin. So there you have it. That's our review of the 2023 Grand Final and the Brownlow. It's actually a preview. And there you have it, our preview of the 2023 Grand Final and the Brownlow Medal. Let us know in the comments who you think wins and why, and we'll see you in the next one, which is Grand Final Preview. Review. Review. <laughs>